So I have called this cocktail an ever lease of life. Get you in your words. Clap. Do the clap. Do the clap. Do the clap. The clap has gone to the other end of the room. Yay. Get it around again. Um, cool. All right. So, yeah, Everly's of Life. It's a very – I want to make this drink very simple. It's going to be built. I was going to give it a little shake, but my shaker um, is sealed. So the actual small bit of the shaker is sealed inside. I can't get it out. So I'm going to stir it instead because, actually, Everly works beautifully. With, yeah, I can't get it out. Um, you can try if you want. No, I'm much stronger it's, than that. It's one. definitely stuck. Yeah. So I'm going to put some ice in the glass first. Excuse hands. I have sanitized my hands just before I've done this. Oh, a bit of music. music. Yeah. It's so good it's not got the shake because it might have to pretend to be Tom Cruise. I just have to pretend. Um, so I'm going to put 50 ml, so a good double shot of Everleaf in here. No messing about. Beautiful. Uh, the next thing I'm going to put in, instead of a citrus, I'm going to put in a bit of um, apple cider vinegar, because I love this as an alternative to citrus. You need far less of it, and it gives a really beautiful uh, punch and um, not a tartness, a dryness. Yeah, it, it gives you those um, acidic notes that you'd expect from alcohol, I think. Yes, really. yeah. and literally five mils. I'm hardly, Ooh. actually, a tiny bit more. That's a very little bit. Yeah, I'm hardly putting any, because there is a lovely bitterness that comes from Everleaf anyway. So I don't want to counteract that too much. I just want it to be a note in the background. Um, then I'm going to use some pineapple juice. Now, I know this does have quite a lot of residual sugar in it, but I think it works beautifully with Everleaf, personally. I know you've got a, a lovely recipe, uh, Paul, with uh, grapefruit, with pink grapefruit in there as well. I think your, uh, your gimlet, which I need yeah. to try that. It sounds absolutely beautiful. But I'm only going to put 30 mils of this in. Um, I don't want to overpower it too much with juice, like so. Uh, and then I'm going to give this a tiny little stir before topping it. Because you can't shake it. Because I can't shake it. Otherwise, I would have shaken it at this point, by the way. Bye to bye. Just a little, shirt, uh, little stir to combine. And then I'm going to top it. Again, I don't want to add too much sugar to this. So I'm going to add some light tonic water, like so. Just a bit of fizz. Again, in a perfect world, these would be lovely and chilled, but um, we are... They don't know that it's not chilled. You know that, right? We yeah. are absolutely not. In a, I have to take my own peace of mind. Chilled. Then I'm going to give a very gentle stir, because I don't want to kill all the bubbles inside this. Like, you can sorry. kill bubbles. And, <laughs> like a massacre. Um, and then I'm just going to garnish it with these two little forks with a little slice of orange in there. So it's a lovely kind of light um, aperitif. I'm going to Laura, take this forward. Please. It looks like you're bringing it over for six. Thank you. There you go. How would you judge this call out of ten? Um, on presentation and sound of the ingredients, it's definitely a ten out of ten. Yay! Oh, Thanks, Paul. Uh, please do the honours. Okay. Uh, you know, I've not had it with the pineapple before. Okay. And and it's good because you haven't, I can really taste the Everleaf in it. And sometimes yeah. when you make alcohol-free cocktails, sometimes you can lose that really good base ingredient, but you haven't yeah. lost it in this at all. And uh, Everleaf, I'm very fond of as a drink. Um, mm -hmm. So, oh, thank you. I'm all right. Drink some <laughs> Paul, can you just, just before, because I didn't touch on, could you just talk through very quickly the, the ingredients, uh, some of the main flavours that go into Everleaf? Sure. Um, we describe it as bittersweet. Um, so we have quite a few floral aromatics up front. So we use orange blossom in there, which gives it a really heady nose. Um, it has Spanish saffron. Yeah. Um, my father wrote a book on crocuses when I was growing up. So saffron is a really emotive ingredient for me. So that mm -hmm. gives the color. Then we have Madagascan vanilla, a bit of cassia bark. Um, the finish is very much gentian root. So it has that bitterness coming in from gentian root. Yeah. And there are a lot of other little botanicals in there to kind of make the whole thing work together. I'm a big fan of vetiver. Vetiver, vetiver, one, the vetiver in here is really yeah. beautiful. I made a, a, like a vetiver um, essence once to go in a cocktail, and I absolutely love the flavour, and it works be beautifully in this. So thank you very much, Paul.